sub. <clears throat> Have you been a victim of caring too much what other people think about you? If you are, you may be entitled for some compensation. <laughs> Remember those commercials? I think they still go on. The lawyer ones, like, if you took this drug, you may be entitled to compensation. But this video is your compensation if you have been in that realm of caring too much what other people think. Felt the need to do this video based upon a recent conversation that I had with someone in which they shared how they're currently caring too much what other people think. And that story resonated so much with me. And the reason being was the person shared how they went through their own spiritual healing journey in which they made shifts to how they are now. So personal development, inner work, and they're a different person now than they were a year ago, a couple years ago. But they had this fear of stepping fully into who they are now for the fear of somebody from an experience that they had with this person before in which they have admitted and took accountability for how they showed up wasn't in the highest way that they could have shown up but they have this judgment of potentially this person coming out of the woodwork saying that's not you because of this experience i had in which you were this person and i was like wow universe is so funny because synchronistically that was something that i just went through for myself and was able to shift it so the purpose of working through the things, and this is my just my belief, is when we work through something and we shift it, it's to help somebody else who's going through the same type of journey to help them to evolve as well. And it was perfect because I was like, oh, so you're caring what other people are gonna think about you if you show up. And in this instinct, it was, caring about somebody you had an interaction and experience with from a part of your life that may care about how you are and try to call you out as the person they had experience with that's something I also I had a fear for for myself and reason being is I've been doing a lot of deep deep work I'm sure a lot of people as well who's watching this, you've been doing your own inner work and what happens is when you do the work, you start to reflect. Reflect on different experiences in your life. And I got this wording from my former therapist that I had in which he told me that there's infinite ways to look at every situation. There's also infinite ways to react to every situation. And it stuck with me, especially now, and also for those who do self-reflective, whether it's meditation, whether it's talking with a therapist or talking through a, with a coach, or maybe just talking with people, or even just the thoughts that we just have about scenarios that happened in our life before. And working with therapists, working with a coach, what happens in those conversations, especially with one who is really there to serve you and help you to really shift your perspective is they'll call you out on different situations that you went through. Now, of course, in any interactions, we're going to take it how we're going to take it based upon our perspective. Then. And also, we may have responded to things out of emotions, and that goes for whoever we may have that interaction with as well and through reacting out things out of emotions someone could potentially get hurt either myself either the person either yourself either the other person and what can happen from there is there could be a potential trauma somebody's hurt somebody feels this type of way or whatever and in that process of that there's information to be shared. In every situation, I believe, there's always a lesson to be learned from that. 
And in this process of reflecting, like I was mentioning, talking to a coach, talking to a therapist, self-reflection, you start to see that, oh, I could have responded to things differently. I could have potentially been different in other situations out there. And yeah, you could have. The other person you may have had an interaction with in those situations could have as well. And then what can start to happen is now you've done your healing work. Now you're stepping in to this new frontier. Now you're ready to show up how you are now. Not only just for yourself, but for others. But then that little, little ego and thoughts starts to show up. Hey, remember when you're like this? Remember you're like that. And also, what are those people gonna think in those interactions? What if they say something to you? And not even just for this, it's the egoic thoughts for any situation that happens in our life and all these thoughts and information from previous experience start to show up. What if this happens? What if that happened? What if this happened? And in this situation I'm sharing, you're afraid of fully showing yourself or the fear of somebody coming at you from previous experiences. So what can happen from that? It could keep you limited. It could keep you from not really going for what you want because of caring so much of, in this example of these people from previous experiences, potentially coming at you saying, oh, you're flawed, oh, you're fake. And part of me, I just keep, my earbud keeps falling out. So I just keep going back and forth and getting it. But as I was mentioning, yeah, people saying, oh, you're still the same person, oh, this and that. And the thoughts keep going, keep going, keep going. But then I asked this question to myself, which I asked the person, and it was a pretty quick way of shifting that caring about people in the example of that. And that question is, hey, are those people from the previous experience that you mentioned, are they still with you right now? No. When was the last time you experienced with them? Oh, a year ago, a couple years ago. And also, who are you right now? Who are you right now? That is the question. Who are you right now? Especially for those who are doing the work, making the shifts, integrating that, seeing a different perspective, making new choices in your life. That was like a Pokemon. <laughs> making these new choices in your life, making these new actions in your life, and also, accepting that it happened the way it was supposed to happen for you to get that lesson and what can happen is the person in the other part of that may not have gotten a lesson yet maybe they're still stuck in whatever happened and that's totally fine what can also happen as you're doing this is you feel like you need to prove that you're different prove that you're a different person than when you were before yeah i felt that i've done that it was an endless loop of feeling like I had to prove to people I had interaction with that I am a different person. It's an endless, infinite thing to continue to keep doing that. You know what's easier? Just be present. What if all you need to do is get the lesson and just bring that energy now for the people in your life to serve them? And even potentially, those people may show back up in your life to test that, to say, that oh you're not the same person you're not that person you're still the same person as before and they're entitled for it what's the point of even having to prove it because that's gonna be wasted energy as well i felt the need to share in that because like i said not even just for that aspect of caring what people from my past thought about any aspects of the interactions that i had and the experiences that i had but then also just caring about what other people think as general as well. From just believing that that's the most important thing. More important than how I care about myself. And also just believing that the way that I care about myself is really taking on the notions of how other people, what other people think about me. That's the way. What I think of myself is reflective for how everybody else thinks about me including what I shared. And what also can happen, and the prime example of what I shared of doing that with that notion is caring 
more or what other people think about me is I'm going to try to manipulate myself to be in certain ways to uh, please everyone, to please everyone. And the cost of that is my boundaries. I know that resonates with people who care so much about what other people think about you to the point of you just giving your power away, giving away your boundaries freely for the hope that, oh, I can have everybody to approve me. And here is a wake up reality call for you to really just take in. Brace it, brace this. Not everyone's gonna approve you. No matter how hard you try, no matter how much effort you give into it, not everyone is going to approve you. But out of all of that, who's the most important person to approve yourself? And this is just from my experience and what has happened from that, I'm gonna share because it's very helpful to really just solidify my path what I did. And the number one person that I need to approve fully of myself is myself. I was really going for that approval for everyone else and it cost a lot of my power, my energy, giving it away freely. It's free will, free choice, but it was based upon that illusion of caring about appeasing others, caring about everyone's thoughts about me and trying to have everyone approve me and every single interaction, I would just shift and morph to a way of like just trying to get people to appease me, to, to accept me. And I realized that, wait a second, now everybody accepts me no matter what. <laughs> but what about me accepting me? And that was something my therapist told me before, coach, a lot of people out there, inspirational say that thing, but I, I'm like, wait a second, like, that's BS, is that really true? And yeah, it really is true. Because once you start to accept yourself, and once you start to really integrate it and embody it even more, because there's infinite levels of embodiment as well. So you can go deeper into this acceptance. But you really start to see that, wait, this is more powerful than what I was looking for for these other people to give me. And it just keeps growing and keeps growing the more I accept myself, the more I really just embody who I am in this moment, and the more I just actually just be who I am in this moment. It, one, it allows me to flourish more and show up as me, and there's not so much pressure to like be this person, be like this, be like this, be like this, it's like, I'm just who I am, and you can take me for who I am, even if you had experiences with me before, you can take me for who I am, in those experiences but the only thing that really matters is how am i showing up right now and the same for you how are you showing up right now what is your intention with the way that you are right now but then also you really start to see that people have the right to be how they are they have the right to have their opinion of you and you're not no longer trying to fight those opinions you just look at it and the more you start to do that then it's another level because like I said before, there's a lesson in every experience. So even the people who may have opinions of you, who may think of you in a certain way, you, it allows you to learn more about yourself because truth be told, we have all done things before in which somebody can perceive us as an asshole. Somebody could perceive us as a bad person. Somebody can perceive us whatever way they perceive us as well. And when we can be able to detach from how they what they think about us or their opinions of us, we can actually learn some things and start to really expand our self, self-development, all those things in general. And yeah, then you get to play more in life. Just imagine what your life would be like if you just showed up in a way of not caring what other people think about you, showing up as you, but also you can use what you hear as a way to expand yourself even more. But then even just have 
compassion more for these people because those who judge others judge themselves and hey that's everybody's unique journey but synchronistically when they do it towards you it's a way for you to expand and it's working for me and I, I know whoever is willing to try that out for yourself it'll work for you as well because we all deserve to really just be ourselves we all deserve to live life fully as who we truly are and also to have that love and acceptance of ourselves it allows us to accept people in life more but then of course it allows us to accept our boundaries more in which if somebody starts to step over the boundaries you can be able to have a conversation because you're not afraid of how they're going to react you can actually have a loving conversation with them that can help both of you grow as well Thank you again for connecting with me and I always love sharing these type of content and until next time.